Okay, right. Hopefully that's all set up. Uh, second time of recording this video. Um, welcome to the channel, folks. My name's Andrew, part-time eBay and Depop reseller and a mental health advocate. Um, hopefully this sounds okay on this. Um, I've had to record it again because there's a weird clicking sound going on, which would have just been super annoying. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, welcome. Um, this is my regular reseller accountability series uh, where I try and list at least 10 items a day, Monday to Thursday. Uh, and I have managed to achieve it again today, even though it is now 20 to 12 at night. Um, it was a lot earlier when I, well, I say about 10 minutes earlier when I filmed the first one. Anyway, yeah, so in this series, I talk about what I've listed, where I got stuff from, what I paid, how much I've listed it for, what my logic for listing it for that price was. And yeah, just gives a slightly different angle on the uh, the reselling and, and listing process and stuff. Maybe. Anyway, first item is this uh, set of uh, 12 cassettes, rave, techno, music stuff. I don't really understand. But yeah, picked these up at the car boot. £6 I paid for them. I did actually research it before I paid. Bit of negotiation. He wanted eight quid. He knew what they were worth on what they were selling for on eBay. Um, but he didn't want to sell them on eBay himself. So we agreed on six pounds in the end. These uh, are should be listed and, and selling for about the thirty quid plus shipping mark. Usually on an offer I've noticed. So I listed this for thirty one ninety five, which is just below the competition uh, if you include the shipping costs. So. Hopefully I should achieve somewhere close to that. And these are in really good condition as well. Um, to be fair, these, these cassettes look like they don't even look like they've been played. So, uh, yeah, hopefully um, we get a decent return on that. Uh, next, you may remember this from the um, house clearance shop pickup video I did over the weekend. Um, this basically was about a quid. It's part of that haul. Brand new and sealed, but the seal is coming off. Nevertheless, I've listed this for fourteen ninety five. Jigsaws always tends to go well for me in uh, Q4. And we're coming up rapidly on Q4, so I'm banging on the jigsaws now. So that has got on. Uh, then next two items. Picked up a job lot of stuff today. 15 quid I paid for it. A um, couple of items in there like worth about 40 quid each. Uh, and some items that not worth much. Um, so I started off listing the lower value stuff first off. Oh, I'll have to clean enough to list. I've got a couple of items that need cleaning up. Uh, so this first item uh, is this Kilncraft Abacus cream slash milk jug type thing. don't really understand pottery or ceramics, but this this for seven ninety five. I'll probably get six or seven quid for it. Basically cost me nothing in this bundle, so... You know, when it sells, it'll just go towards the cost of that bundle. But, but yeah, it's a nice. It does look quite nice, um, to be fair. Uh, yeah. Then the uh, next item is this Ainsley fine bone chainer, Ashes two thousand and five cricket mug from our glorious victory, which I do remember watching in the pub, watching the matches with you mates. Um, back before I could drive, I think. So I was just like in the pub all the time, getting drunk. Um. Which is why I watched this because I have no particular interest in cricket. Uh, but yeah, again, this basically cost me nothing. We listed for twelve ninety five, which is probably a bit high, um, and I probably have to wait until the next Ashes matches for it to sell. But I don't mind sitting on it for a while, um, and we'll see how it does. Uh, then all of the next slots came as part of an auction haul. They all probably cost me about. Maybe a pound each as part of that haul. Um, I've got a few other items in the in the haul as well that uh, I don't even know what they are. I don't even I don't know what most of the stuff is or even why I bid on it. It was just going cheap basically. Um, I knew that. So I've, I first item from that sort of auction haul I've listed is this hip flask uh, by Comoys of London. Um, it's got like a I can't remember what name it is. It's got a hinge cap on it, basically, so the cap doesn't—you don't lose the top. Um, 
cost me yeah we're talking about what it cost uh listed for 16.95 uh i can only find one of the commoys of london hip flask that sold in the past year and been listed even in the past year in the here in the uk um, and that had gone for about 12 quid on on bids including shipping so this has gone on for 16.95 free shipping so it gets on uh, next this midton crafts paperweight oh, there was a bit of a collector's market now for paperweights it's sort of a vintage made in scotland thing don't seem to be a huge demand for midson craft stuff to be honest but i've listed it for 11.95 anyway probably i only go for about six or seven quid but we'll see how it gets on uh next it's david winter craftsman's cottages again all, all these things part of that auction hall um these can sell for about 13 14 maybe even 15 quid if boxed in good condition with the certificate of authenticity this is none of those things obviously um paint sort of coming off um not boxed no certificate of authenticity it's, it's basically been still a sort of mantelpiece since 1985 probably when it was sort of made but um yeah i've put it on for 9.95 anyway again it'll probably only achieve about six or seven quid um, but you can't get a decent price unless you list high. So, you know, that's what I've done. Even 995 isn't that high, but yeah, it's high for this height. Um, then I've got this weird pewter and glass hip flask with a screw top, sort of miniature whiskey bottle thing. Um, yeah, no clue on this. I spoke to Stu Mandry, give me a bit of assistance. Thanks for that, Stu. Uh, I found a similar one that had sold on eBay for around the nine. Well, I think it got on an offer, but it was listed for about twenty quid. So I've listed this for nineteen ninety five. We'll see how it gets on. Um, but another hip flask. It's this Edwin Blyde pewter hip flask. Got a nice sort of golf golfer on the front of it. Um, it probably would have done alright, um, but unfortunately, it is uh, inscribed with this meal brace, seniors, golf tournament winner, and somebody's name on it. So it is sort of personalised item, uh, which probably will affect the um, negatively affect the uh, the value of it. I put it on for fourteen ninety five free shipping anyway. You know who knows? Maybe the loser. On that day, may come along, see this on eBay and buy it. I know, I suspect, given it from 2003 and it's a seniors trophy, they're probably not on eBay looking to buy stuff and may in fact be either dead or in a care home. So, yeah, who knows? Well, maybe seniors doesn't mean like old people, maybe it just means adults and I'll get lucky. We'll see anyway. And then the final item... This is a bit more of a collectible paperweight. Uh, this is a Dartington uh, paperweight, a uh, sort of crystal one, uh, signed by this Capri Doni fellow, who, or lady, don't know, who presumably designed this range. Uh, there seems to be a bit of demand for these, yeah, especially if they're boxed. Um, again, this is, this is in boxed, but it's still in good condition. Um, they seem to go from sort of seven to thirteen pounds, so I've listed this for twelve ninety five free shipping, and hopefully, I should achieve you know close to that or around the ten pound mark for it. It's quite a nice piece, and like I said, there is a, there is a demand for them. So, so yeah, um, ten items listed. Taking a while to because late night listing just because I was doing um, shipping. Uh, after I finished work for quite a bit of time because sales have been really good the last couple of days but that left me with a backlog of shipping to work through so I had to get through quite a bit of that uh, before I could do my uh, listing still got quite a bit more to do tomorrow as well so probably going to be a struggle to do 10 listings again tomorrow but sales are good that's what it's all about so you know I can't can't complain anyway thanks for watching folks hopefully the sound's okay on this one um, I really do need to get a decent webcam rather than relying on this 
cheap Chinese one, but um, I have to need a few more days of decent sales for that. Anyway, see you on the next video. Bye for now.